Alrighty, Chef Buck here, and today we're gonna throw together a tiny, itsy bitsy, teeny, cheesy cheese ball on a stick. Now, my sister made these uh, for Christmas, and they're super simple, they look fantastic, they taste terrific. My sister made them with cheddar cheese, we're going to use some pepper jack and some gouda. And we're putting a lot of cheese in here because we're going to put some pineapple in because I think that's going to add a really nice flavor. Now we've got this, you see we've had it strained, getting as much of the liquid out of here as possible. Boom! And it is crushed. You know, we've kind of got it into some itsy bitsy teeny tiny pieces. You know, I got a little paprika, some garlic powder, and some black pepper. Not going to put any salt in here because cheese has a lot of salt in it. And we're going to add some bacon later, which also has a lot of salt in it. We're going to coat our cheese balls with some chives, but I'm going to go ahead and throw a little bit of chive in here too. Maybe a teaspoon, just to get a little chivey flavor inside. So if you're making these cheese balls ahead of time, you know that'll really add more flavor. And now we're going to add some cream cheese. I got a brick of regular old cream cheese right here. Boom! And then this here, I think, is a little bit of regular old cream cheese. Boom! And I think this right here is some uh, Nufa Chatel, Nufa... Nufa, <laughs> this isn't cream cheese. It looks like cream cheese. It is. But it's supposed to have less fat, you know, which... Does that really sound like a good idea? I guess it is. But anyway, it's a bunch of cream cheese. You know, I'll have the uh, recipe written out over at MyFoodChannel.com. You can go over there and print up all our recipes. And it's also down below if you want to take a look at it. But, you know, you can really adjust this recipe. It's kind of like uh, your drawers. So you don't get a wedgie. <laughs> but anyway, we got to mix this up, you know, get it well incorporated. Let me start off with a, a fork here and see how this goes. Oh, it's challenging. And I had my cream cheese sitting out for a while. You want to make sure and do this with soft cream cheese. Otherwise, you're just going to, your forms are going to end up looking like mine, which you don't <laughs> want because children and smaller fellas will run from you in terror, except for this guy. This guy wasn't scared of me at all. You mean this lady. Hey, that was no lady. Actually, I got this black eye playing Jeopardy. Because that's how competitive us Red Bucks are. We just... We just gotta know the answers. Switch over to the heavy duty spoon. This is super cheesy rum. So you want to make sure that you alternate days with this stuff. You know, like one day have cheese balls and the next day have like prunes. Something like that and then go back to the cheese balls and just alternate. You know, and that way you will survive I guess is the word all right so there you have it all nice and mixed up so we'll set this aside so now we're gonna throw our uh, little coating together we got some bacon here this is some crispy bacon that I've kind of crumbled up it's super crispy so these are almost like bacon bits yeah. you know our little bit of fresh chive and then I got some chopped up pecans and you can use pecans you can use walnuts you can use almonds you can use whatever you like whatever nut your nuts for and this is going to be the coating for the outside of our cheese balls. You know, and whatever ratio works for you is the right ratio. If you want to do a no meat version, just leave out the bacon, you know, and make it extra nutty. Now, I found the easiest way to do this is just to get like a teaspoonful and just throw it in your mixture. Boom. And then that way you can just coat it like this here. Get a little bit on there and then roll it into a ball like this. And then that's just the easiest way. Because you want to get you a little bit of coating on there and it just makes it that much easier to handle. That's sort of a big bite. It is a big bite, but you know I got a big mouth. You want me to make some smaller ones for your mouth? Because you got a small mouth, but you got big ideas. Big ideas come out of that small mouth. And a lot of noise. Oh. Some noise. Oh. There you go. Let me throw another one in there. Boom, boom, boom. Just get it coated. And roll it around. Oops, I accidentally made another big one. I'm not doing a good job of getting some dainty ones. Here, this one will be a little daintier. We're getting together some cheese balls for our card game later. Because these are great for uh, any kind of family activity. Uh, that one's super big. Even that one's getting a little out of hand. Shapers. That one will be mine for sure. I'm trying to make some small ones. I just... Small isn't my style, man. So you can make these any size you want. You know, if this is for your book club meeting, you know, if you're a bunch of little old ladies and you're having a book club meeting, just make them dinky do. you know. And if it's a, a football team... Got a bunch of linebackers coming over, just make them the size of a ping pong ball. We gotta make some dinky do ones so my Mima will eat some. She gets intimidated by big balls. I didn't mean anything by that. That's you. That's going on in your head, buddy. Alrighty, so we're getting down to the wire. 
on our little cheese ball mixture. And I'm going to go ahead and add in some jalapeno slices. Yum. You know, for, so that we'll have some with a little zing, you know, for the men in the family. Hey, I want some. For anybody, really. Pickled jalapeno is always a good thing to have around. That way, when you have a bright idea like this, then you can do something about it. We were running low on our little coating, so we went ahead and chopped up a few more nuts and put in here, which you can always do. You know, so if you're running low, just add a little bit more bacon or add a little bit more nuts. This is for later on tonight, you know, because ideally, once you make these, you want them to sit in the fridge for a little bit and <laughs> firm up and let these flavors come together. I mean, you can eat them right away. You know, we have eaten a few of these balls. But they'll taste better if they sit for a while. Look how fantastic these look. What could make them better? Pretzels! <laughs> We're going to use some, uh, some of these pretzel sticks. And you just want to take them and you just want to pull this bullfighter Toreador move. And just shove it right down in there. Boom, boom, boom. And this is basically going to end up being our little handle. They're savory popsicles. We've got chives in here. We've got bacon. But you know, we've also got a little pineapple. And if you wanted to, you could leave out the bacon. You could put cinnamon in here. You could put cardamom in here. You could make these more sweetie, uh, desserty type cheese balls if you want. But as they are right now, it is kind of savory, which I like. I like a nice little savory snack. And you sure don't need a lot of pretzel sticks for these. So you'll know you'll have this big bag. You know, so you might want to get a six pack of beer. So that you'll have something to do with those. Alright, so there you have it. We got our balls all pretzeled up. So we're going to slide them in the fridge. Boom, boom, boom. Let them firm up a little bit. And we'll check on them at snack time. Alrighty. There you have it. These ones right here have jalapeno in it. And these are the jalapeno free. You want to give a taste test, Mimo? You want a jalapeno or non-jalapeno? No, I like the jalapenos. You took a bite. That's because you made them too big. But they're very the... good. <laughs> I like a little bit of heat. You know what? I really like the jalapeno too. I wish we'd jalapeno them all up. That's how you eat it. It all goes in. I Do really like it with the jalapeno. I'm gonna put jalapeno in the recipe. So yeah, there's look at him there's, a, there's pecans on the outside. Oh, okay. And bacon. So these are like the ones sister made, but we put pineapple in them. And then we've also got some jalapeno in them. And these don't have cheddar cheese. These have, um, we put pepper jack cheese and a little bit of gouda. Oh, really? Mm hmm Gouda? Mm-hmm. It's very good. Is it very gouda? Yeah, it's very good. <laughs> I'm going to do it right. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't no trouble. <laughs> Did you eat another one? Yes. Are you still, okay, I was about to say, if you're still working on that same cheese ball. No, that was my second. That's good. Look at that. See, it just naturally all goes in there. Doesn't matter how big the ball is. It's a one bite snack. If you want to print the recipe, go to myfoodchannel.com. You can print all our recipes over there. Thanks for watching and subscribing. And we'll see you in the future.